Isn't it annoying when you're just shooting your bow and then all of a sudden, bam, you're fletching rips. Ah, uh, have you ever had that happen? <sighs> Seriously, actually, uh, my fletching or fletching in general um, is very, uh, I don't know, it's very sensitive sometimes. And um, if it's positioned wrong on your rest or anything like that, the fletching can uh, rip very easily. So I have seen this survival hack that says that you can use duct tape and uh, to recreate the fletching on it. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so husband just found this actually perfectly sized uh, Gorilla Tape here. So we're gonna rip off the fletching here and then try to replace it with this. When removing the fletching, it's glued on there, so it has to be, you have to be very careful um, not to actually splinter the, uh, the shaft of the arrow. So we're being very careful with it. That's probably good, babe, since we're just gonna replace it. But yeah, so. All right, so I'm gonna practice on a couple dowels here. Um, this may not be the perfect size, but we'll be close to it. See, so the theory is the same. One is up and then two are out. Um, they, aren't, they aren't the exact, but I do wanna see if just this little size will work. Okay, so the fletching is off. So, what's nice about this is that it gives me kind of that already, you know, it already knows where the fletching kind of goes. So, I'm gonna kinda try to put it kinda where it was. Try to make them all the same size. Ooh. Oh boy. Already messed up. Yeah. Is a really bad. Hey, they say tape is a really good. Wait. <laughs> Here, clean the blood off. Well, here's a temporary fix. Ah, that was a deep, deep cut there. Okay. Moving along. Okay, so this is definitely a little off. But I think it might fly. This one is bigger than these two. And yeah, well, I don't know. Let's go ahead and just give it a try, just see how it goes. All right, so the one feather is still up, so it should shoot okay. I'm afraid that these are so big, uh, I may have to cut them down, because as soon as this goes through, these are gonna hit this, in this uh, arrow rest here. Whatever. We're just gonna try and see. Let's see. Wow. That flew really good actually. Come on. <laughs> the tape is still on there. It actually flew really well. I wasn't really aiming. <laughs> I'm losing blood fast here. Uh, so, <laughs> but uh, actually that flew really well. I'm very surprised. What I would do is I would probably just cut it down just a little bit so that there's not friction against here. But other than that, I'm very pleased. So it works. So this um, theory here is, uh, you know, if I were to make my own arrow, um, just, you know, we don't need traditional fletching. You just need gorilla tape or duct tape. And there you got your fletching. <laughs> or feathers even. So there you go. Uh, that's my experiment for today. Um, I'm gonna go lie down now and maybe have husbands suture me up a little. Huh. 
Look at this fancy suturing kit that husband has. Ooh. I really don't want to be sutured. Like, I really, really, I gotta get super drunk first. Oh yeah, is this still good? Yeah. Oh really? How long does it last? Uh, this stuff should be good till about the end of the year. Hey, slammable. Let's make a fire. <laughs> yeah, I get to... Okay, so you know how to do this, right? Yes, I know how to do this. <laughs> It's it's uh not real bad right now. We got a band-aid on it, putting a nice pressure on it right now. It's uh it is kind of bleeding pretty bad, but we're gonna just wait it out. And if it's real bad, he'll suture me up, but I I'm just gonna say it's fine. It's fine. Fine, nothing gonna happen. Alright, well hopefully I won't die. <sighs> Safety everyone. Don't cut yourselves. That's the PSA for today. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow.